These are my kids right here. Eating bacon on a stick. The last time we talked about Tiffany Beeston, Chris, her husband, was saying he was going back to work and he wanted to be a real estate agent. Tiffany posted about this on Instagram saying Chris was passionate about real estate and he's always looking at properties. Chris was interviewed on a podcast and stated that he's interested in property management and selling high-end beach homes. But like, I would like to sell those, you know, high-end million dollar beach homes, um, you know, and I also like property management. So after posting about all of this on Instagram, they kind of went quiet about Chris's real estate career and we haven't heard much about it since then. I'm her husband, <laughs> the guy behind the camera, and I'm Chris. Chris and Tiffany Beeston are family vloggers. They have a family vlogging channel called Beeston Family Vibes on YouTube. And they share a lot of their kids on this channel. As you can see, they vlog all of their birthdays, surprising our kids with Disney, kids first time on the boat. They do sponsorships with their kids over on that channel as well. Chris and Tiffany will even sometimes allow their kids to pick up the camera and do the vlogging for their family channel. So this channel is built around her kids. Recently, they show Tiffany cutting her son's toenails in a video on their family vlogging channel. A viewer left this comment on their video, Tiff, clipping toenails is such a mom thing. Right, it is such a mom thing, but I'm not sure if her kids, once they reach a certain age, are going to want that type of stuff on the internet. That could be embarrassing for them. Should clipping your child's toenails really be used for content on social media? In Tiffany's new YouTube video titled Monthly Reset, she addresses the haters. Tiffany says, let people live their life. And viewers tell Tiffany, don't pay attention to the negative comments. Do whatever suits you. The rude people are hiding behind the curtain. Your videos are always great. Tiffany says in her video that she was getting comments telling her she was taking Christmas down way too soon. You have to live your life how you want to live your life. And I just undecorated a couple of things, not even my whole house. But anyway, um, I don't explain myself anymore. Tiffany says she doesn't explain herself anymore, but she does go on throughout this whole video explaining certain things. Like she explained why she doesn't have all of her Christmas decorations taken down. She's only taken down some of them at this point. Tiffany says that she hasn't undecorated her entire house. She would love to take down her Christmas trees, but she doesn't have the energy to do it. Next, Tiffany explains to her viewers why she doesn't wash her kids' Christmas bedding before storing it away in all of the Christmas bins. Because she gets a lot of comments about that. A lot of people will say, like, you know, you didn't wash anything before you put it away because I'm not going to wash something twice. Like, I'm putting this stuff away. There's no, like, a soiled mess on here or anything. Tiffany explains that she puts their Christmas bedding away, and then next year, before putting it back on their bed, she washes it. Tiffany does spend a good amount of time in this video responding to the haters or the negative comments, whatever you want to call it, and she's justifying her actions. In this next clip, she seems extremely bothered by the fact that people try to tell her how to live her life. Whenever I show car cleaning on my channel, I get so many comments like, you shouldn't let your kids eat in the car and tell me what I should or shouldn't do in my life. Listen. The tone in her voice has changed. She sounds serious. She does not want people on the internet trying to tell her how to live her life. But you gotta let people live their life. And if you don't want to wash your car this way, you don't want to let your kid eat in the car, then don't. But you don't have to tell me what to do, right, guys? That's how we. That's how the world runs nice and smooth is by doing you and let other people do them. Tiffany's made it pretty clear that she doesn't want strangers on the internet telling her what to do. If we all take Tiffany's advice and just leave people alone and let them be and let them live the life they want to live then viewers should be able to leave snarky comments, even rude comments. Because if a person is leaving a rude comment, they're doing exactly what they want to do in that moment. And according to Tiffany, we should all just be left alone so we can do whatever we want to do. I feel like every viral video I see, like the first comment is always something rude. I don't understand that. Some people don't take the internet so seriously. Some people are on the internet just for fun. 
They like to snark. And other people take the internet extremely seriously. This is their job. They're professional. But everybody doesn't go to the internet with the same intentions. And social media is a place to share. It's a place to share thoughts, opinions, ideas, information, and so much more. Tiffany shared this on Instagram around Thanksgiving. It's a group message with some people in her family. Hi everyone, it's OCD Tiffany here. Just finalizing our menu. I know I'm making a lot, but I'm filming a Thanksgiving cooking video so it works out. Please read and let me know if I'm right or if anything changed. Here's the list of foods that everybody is bringing to Thanksgiving and Tiffany is making the most. She's making cranberry sauce, green bean casserole, dairy-free sweet potato casserole, roasted veggies, apple pie, and peanut butter pie. A viewer sent me this screenshot and said, did she just admit she's only cooking a large Thanksgiving menu for her family for content? Some influencers link and recommend products they don't even own and have never used. I think recently I've seen more influencers start to do sponsorships with car dealerships and they're recommending certain cars to their viewers. They'll test drive the car for a day. They'll go take their kids to get ice cream or whatever. And then they will sit in the car and tell you all about it and tell you that you should buy it. Now, Tiffany drives a Chevy, but she told her viewers, if you're buying a car, you should definitely get a Ford. So if you're in the market for a new vehicle, I definitely recommend the Ford Explorer because it's an amazing family car. If you zoom in at the bottom of Tiffany's Instagram stories, you can see she tagged Ford, hashtag local Ford partner, hashtag sponsored, hashtag Ford Explorer. So this was a paid sponsorship. Tiffany was paid to say the things that she said about the Ford Explorer. Sometimes brands will even give you a script to read. And it looks like Tiffany was also required to actually post on her Instagram feed about this car as well. She posted three pictures of this car on her Instagram feed and two of the pictures included her kids. So she used her kids in this ad and we've heard from a lot of family vloggers that brands will pay more if children are used in the sponsorship. And they're advertising this car as a family vehicle. So yeah, the kids were involved. What do you think about influencers working with car dealerships on a sponsored post to recommend a certain car to their viewers if they don't own that car themselves? And if that's not the car they purchased when they went to buy with their own money? Can you really get to know if a car is a good car in all of its features in a day, in an afternoon? I'm not sure if they kept the car overnight, but even if they did keep the car overnight, do you think that's enough time to really get to know a car? Do you think that's enough time to drive a car long enough to really get to know it and recommend it to your viewers? And also, do you trust a review from an influencer who's being paid to give a good review on a car? What do you think about Tiffany not wanting people to leave comments telling her what she should or shouldn't do. But then Tiffany goes on to tell viewers that they shouldn't tell her what she should and shouldn't do. So isn't she doing exactly what she's telling viewers not to do? Share your thoughts on everything. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines today. See you next time.